wagons without the definite article. Ha, huh, that's it, just wagons. Yeah, wagons. Although I'm not as offended as some, some bands, if, uh, uh, some people from bands, if you add the the, I won't uh, turn my face away mm. if you call us the wagons. You it's, won't. It's incorrect. We have the Henry Wagons <laughs> in the studio. Now, look, I was sort of showing off yesterday and I said, uh, hey, I've got uh, Henry Wagons coming in the uh-huh. studio, thinking a person who claims to be a Triple R listener would be impressed. And uh-huh. he looked at me, you know, in that blank sort of smile, and I, oh, yeah, oh. sort of a good on you. And then I said, you don't know, you never heard the name. Uh-huh. Wagons, the band. Yeah. So I think we should start off assuming, I just assume everyone knew of you. Especially triple R listeners uh, well, and Twitter account users and, and Twitter um, account users. No, well, but you no, do. If you, only that were the case, my you, life would be uh, fantastic. It's my dream to be to walk down the street and uh, you know be tapped on the back, congratulated for just being me on every corner. So the fame thing is important to you. You'd like to be. Uh, yeah. Or I'd, would you I, like I, what, to be a, respected? A household well, name. A bit, of bo- a bit of both. I'd like to host a game show. Yeah? Yeah. You'd probably be good at it. Uh, I, you know, I, it's good. No, I think I'd like, basically the upshot is, what's your friend's phone number? I'll give him a buzz and I'll tell him all about myself. Is that all right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll do it because I'm horrified that, that he has no idea who I am. No, but it's not surprising. It's not surprising, I, 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 I really. Can, I, can, I can give it to you. But but <laughs> what, what I'm getting from you is, uh, yeah, it's Simon and his number is. Uh, uh, what, what I'm getting from you here, though, yeah. is that though I believe you're a member of some form of rock and roll band mm. called Wagons, mm. who are playing at the Corner Hotel, which is a pub tonight. in Richmond tonight. <laughs> for, for you, those that's, who, that's who for you, know. Simon. Yeah, for you, Simon. <laughs> um, I, I get the feeling that maybe music is just a way you you, you see yourself as an all oh, all no. round entertainer. No, no. Look, I uh, music's definitely my number one thing. I, I, I um, I, you know, all, the other stuff's a bit of a wank, really. I think, um, and and music is what it's all about. And you know, I I do joke about you know. The sort of festival world, uh, we, we got to play a lot of festivals over summer and that's an environment, sort of this enclosed, gated community or a, a, a new world where you can walk around and actually be, uh, you know, Tom Cruise and Nicole Kidman for the week and you actually sort of get a dose of what it would be like if someone actually knew who you were where you know a a large proportion of the people in that gated community actually know who you are and and, and say good on you and it's a pain in the butt I don't like it when I don't like someone call I don't like someone coming up to me and 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 saying congratulating me on the gig when I'm getting a you know a, a, a battered hot dog it's embarrassing, and I don't want someone talking to me when I'm in the urinal or something like that. And and I imagine people that are actually famous would have to put up with that crap. Oh, they do. And 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 yeah, I actually don't like. It. I was being I was being a dickhead as usual of earlier on. But but yeah, I, no, I love uh, I love um, I love doing other stuff. Like in, in terms of, um, I do a bit of television for Art Nation on ABC, and I do love doing that. But it's it's I don't fear it doesn't quite stretch the same muscles as what as my playing music. It's definitely music's my first love. So uh, when would you like re- people to come and compliment you? What sort of activity are you doing in your day to day life where you're comfortable with people coming up to you and saying, "Great show, Henry"? Certainly not when he's got the buttered set no. out <laughs> in, in the urinal. <laughs> That's it. Definitely not. No, I'm thinking more when I'm in a plush comfortable armchair in my robe at home watching tv maybe some a few people can be ushered in <laughs> and congratulate me and i can pat them on the head and tell them to politely move on their way <laughs> now, but, but are you aware you must be aware of the fact that um well how can i put this delicately despite the fact that guys can't quite understand why women find you incredibly attractive <laughs> i don't no this uh, I, look, I'm I mean, bit, look I'm at bit, you, I'm beard, glasses, <laughs> scrappy-looking hair. Yeah, what, 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 what's the secret? Tell oh, us, because I want to know. I don't I, like th- this. Uh, I'm a bit uncomfortable talking about it, to be honest. Um, like, I can't it's, take my it, eyes off. It, <laughs> yeah, well, it happens. It happens. Um, 
oh, I, I can't uh, keep my eyes off my shoes at the moment. I'm so embarrassed. But I, I seem to be plagued with this. You're an unlikely sex symbol sort of thing. I've, I've been told that a few times, really? which is the most... So you are aware of it. Well, people say I am, mm. and, 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 and it's the most double-edged compliment you could get, really, isn't it? Unlikely. It's, 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 it's sort yeah. of... It's sort of like, well, there's there's something wrong with you, but for against all odds, <laughs> you know, it seems to be working. Maybe um, that's why guys are checking out the the sav in the urinal and just to see if there's a secret. There. There's a secret. Well, let's uh, let's let in uh, let people in on the trade secret. There is. <laughs> there is. Uh, no, I, I um, I don't know. I can't comment on that stuff. I don't know. Mm. I, it's. Uh, it's a, well, it's now a funny you're getting world. All shy, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'd like to say I didn't mean to embarrass him, but I, I did. <laughs> uh, I reckon tune time, Elizabeth. Yes, get your guitar out, Henry. We'd like to hear something. We'd love to hear. Yeah, something. Oh, I'll need to. I'll uh, need well, to we'll, tune we'll, it up. We'll, we'll, okay. Well, I can do the news if you. Well, will, yeah, we'll do the news. What up. we'll do is we'll, we'll have a message. Sure. You can go and tune up, Henry. Yes. Henry, uh, for those who just tuned in, Henry Wagons from the band Wagons. That's it. Who will be playing Corner Hotel? Yeah, we're playing the Corner tonight, and it'll be our last show um, in about six months or so. It's our last tour. We've been really uh, caning ourselves the last year or since it came out, and we've barely been home. And uh, th- this is the last one. This is the last time we're going to play these songs, and we're going to go under the doona and m- make a new album. And uh, so, yeah, this, you know, if if, if for some strange reason you particularly like these songs that we've just been playing recently this will be the last time you get to see it so come along i i I don't think there are many tickets left for what it's worth i think there's only 100 or so tickets um left so if you want to come you know maybe so it's it's, it's just tonight it's not tomorrow it's just tonight it's just tonight um it was going to be two nights um but our support band um from the states called those darlings who are a bunch of sort of three um country um party girls uh that one of them uh broke their arm mm. and um there was a just got an email yesterday with uh, a picture of her x-ray post-operation with two massive metallic pins that um, was nice of her to send you that and yeah that's <laughs> right that's right so uh, she um she's a bit worse for wear um though I'm sure getting some incredibly loving and uh, gentle uh, painkillers to, you know, help her uh, ease the time. Um, but yeah, so no, we so we're not we didn't we decided not to go with the Sunday show. We're, so we're just doing the Saturday. We're just doing tomorrow night. Uh, tonight rather. Wow, we're just doing tonight at the corner. So I get online and book, or you know, maybe run the gauntlet and try and grab some of the last few tickets on the door. I don't know. What song are you going to play for us? I'm going to try and play a new one. Oh, I'm a bit, I'm a bit worried. I'm a bit worried because I, you know, I, when I get up this early, which is not a, a time of day I'm that used to, um, my voice is a lot lower, and and there's nothing I can really seem to do about it. So this is a new song that is predominantly in a lower register, so it, it suits the purpose. It's called I Blew It. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, it wasn't bad. It's wonderful. Uh, I know you, you got a bit of self doubt there. Uh, I noticed before that, but um, you also had it before doing that JVG thing at the art centre, which turned out to be a fantastic gig because you were saying you weren't used to working solo in front of an audience or big audience. Yeah, and that was a huge audience. Yeah, that was great fun in in the end and attentive, considering that they could have well been, you know, that sort of situation. Not because you're a storyteller. Yeah, I I, oh, I I think of it more as a as a sort of obsessive gas bag, you know. So sort of, I can't help it, <laughs> but kind of talk. Yes. Um And and yeah, it was good. I, I was yeah, it was a really fun gig and surprising. I think people had a lot of distractions. They had dogs and kids and toys and art and all sorts of things. Um, all sorts of reasons why. Uh, they mightn't listen to me, but despite it all, uh, there was enough people listening uh, to get me.